Hi, this is Pam with Pam's Paper Place, and this is my first tutorial, so bear with me. I want to show you how I do my little golden books. Um, and the, you know, it'll be different uh, parts. This one, I'll show you how I do my spines, two inch spines, but I uh, make the book bigger so you do not have to fold the pages and I've just started doing this I don't know if this is new or what but um so you have a six and three fourths inch instead of you know where you would have it at about six and a fourth so I'm going to show you how to do that first today this one is done and I also reinforce it with Tyvek and um so I'm doing uh, these custom journals, so I thought I'd show how I um, do the spines. So the first thing we're going to do is, and I don't know if I need to show you this, it's pretty self, uh, you know, I mean, you just take the staples out. So you're going to pull back this here, and then you're going to expose the staples. There's two here, and then on the other side, you will expose those staples, and here's the other side. So, then I have this like jewelry tool, kind of need to. Just get the prongs where they're more upright here. Like that. Get this prong straightened out of the stapler. Like so. And then you can use a staple, staple puller or whatever. Sometimes it doesn't seem to quite work for me, so I'll just pull it out like that. Just kind of twist it out. There we go. So that's removed. Then usually these have two signatures. So then you can just pull them out easily like that. And then there's a little glue here, but um, just kind of gently pull that apart. So there you have your two sections. And you want to keep these, you know, you don't want to separate them because you want to keep your book in order. So now you have your two signatures. So let's set that aside for now. And then we will cut this apart here. And you're not cutting like you usually would here because we want it to have more, we want it to be wider. So just cut this apart. And then trim, you know, if there's a little bit of paper here, trim that off. And then we'll be on to the next step. And I've just recently started doing it this way, so hope I can explain it in a clear manner. So there you have your book taken apart and then you've you've got your extra um, about three-fourths of an inch. So now you're going to cut a piece of Tyvek that is seven and seven-eighths long and three and three-fourths wide. Take that and you also cut um, some chipboard or a lighter weight 
maybe even a cereal box. And this will be seven and seven eighths by three fourths wide. Then you'll get a thicker cardstock. This is your spine here. And this will be two inches by seven and seven eighths. So, and we'll need four of these strips here. Three. Okay, where's my other one? Let's see here. Okay, then we got four of these strips here. One, two, three, four. All right. So we're going to take this, and I just kind of mark in the middle. What's the middle? It's two inches, so one inch here, one inch here. And then you take your Tyvek and you can just fold it in half to find your middle. Just mark it with a pencil. And then you just kind of line that up here. And then glue it. There's two types of glue that I use. I like this three in one. And I also like the Ultimate Crafter's Pick. You can use whatever you want. I mean, everybody has their um, glue they like. So let's just glue this on here and you want to be kind of liberal with your glue Okay, that looks pretty good. Oops, I should have put the little mark on this side. Anyway, it's right here. There. And there's the other mark right there. Press that down. And then you should have about three fourths inch on this side and this side. Three fourths inch. Okay, then let's take our book covers and let's see. We're going to put. This part here, like that, and the other part we'll put here, but then we're going to put our strips on either side of here to give it more strength. So. Let's do that and then just leave a little tiny gap here. Okay. Put our glue down. And then we'll be covering the spine with fabric. So, this will be going here, just a tiny little gap. Then on this side, we'll do the same thing. Put our other, the back, along here with just a tiny, tiny little gap. If 
that like that. Press it down. Then we're going to add our strips. To here. Just so it doesn't. Let's turn it over a minute. Let's see what we got first. Okay, there's that. Kind of press that in. Just kind of like that. Then we want to just add this to the edge here. Just so that this doesn't fold over so much. So let's take our strips. We have four of these. My glue's not coming out. There we go. And then the fabric will cover this strip here. So we got that one. And then the others. <clears throat> Trying to glue as fast as I can because I know this is not exciting. So put that just so you know it's over this fold area here. So that's going to give it more strength, and then the fabric, you know, will cover that. Let's do it to the other side. Okay. That one, and one more. Okay. All right, then let's put this here. Like so. <clears throat> Excuse me, and then we'll let it dry. Just for a minute. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then you'll take your fabric and you'll, you know, you can see where to cover it. And we'll start that. And then you still need to uh, cut down your pages of your little golden book, but not by very much. And I'll give you the dimensions of all that, too. But um, this will be more than, I mean, I'll do the steps in different videos. I have a new camera or a new phone, so it has a different camera. So I think I have more, I mean, I know I have more uh, storage, so... We'll see how long I can film, but I 
Okay. <clears throat> this should be good. Okay. So I'll kind of line this up to about there. And then just kind of pull it a little taut, but not too much. And then kind of, let's see, maybe I need a bone folder here. And kind of get it, if you can, in a little crease there. Flip it over, and then we'll do this side. Oops, a little glob there. So, it might take it a little longer to do it this way, but I think it's worth it to have so you don't have to fold the pages. And you just have to trim up just a little bit. Okay. This part here. And we'll be good to go. down like so and basically that's all you need to do and um, you know there this is a little shallower here I mean if you wanted you could put another piece of chipboard in but I don't think it's really necessary because when you fold it, you don't really see that. Let's bring it to the inside. Cut it. Trim it. And let's add the glue here. There we go. <clears throat> then I would definitely let this dry. And, you know, kind of keep making, you know, make sure that the fabric goes into the crease here. Use your bone folder or tool for that. And the next thing I will do will be the um, pages. So that will be um, part two. I'll tell you uh, all the measurements for that. So I hope you enjoyed my first tutorial. It wasn't as hard as I thought it'd be. I, I hope it turned out okay. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for part two.